your boy, Morphina Studios here. So, I am joined by Rob again. And today we'll be talking about e-gaming. So, Rob, the first question I have for you is, what is it? Who are the biggest names, players, leagues, and companies? Well, I'll let you list off the names, players, leagues, and companies, but I'll describe what is it. It is a form of competition using video games. Esports is mo com most commonly in the form of multiplayer video game competitions played by professional players. Some competitions and tournaments involve a cash prize or a chance. Some companies that have been successful with video games lately are Electronic Arts, also known as EA for short, DICE, which is a division of EA that created um, anything that related in Sweden, Blizzard, who made the infamous Overwatch, Activision, who partnered up with uh, Criterion Games and DICE and EA to start making their games so EA won't be absolute crap at making games. Nintendo, Behavior Games is a, a Canadian company that is known for creating intense action games and the so-called Dead by Daylight. We got Disney with their strict copyright rules. Microsoft with their uh, Xbox franchise, and finally got Warner Bros who are known for making their Lego games. Well, we're gonna list off, list off some famous video games over here. First of all, Call of Duty, Fortnite, because why not? PUBG, Star Wars Battlefront, the Battlefield franchise, Overwatch, Minecraft. Get the f*** out of my room and play Minecraft! And then after we got Horror games, which is a complete different story from famous video games. Horror games have their own separate things, so some famous horror games, we got Outlast 2, the FNAF franchise, all the Resident Evil 7 games, Friday the 13th, and Dead by Daylight. So, some common video game genres are strategy, fighting FPS, which is first person shooter, MOBA, multiplayer online battle arena, MLG, major league gaming, and some players in MLG only specialize in a certain game which they probably are professional in, and which means that they make money either by tournaments or YouTube. MMO is also known as Mess and Multiplayer Online, and there are games whose servers are huge. It can fit up to 80 players per game. And last but not least, Sandbox, where players are offered to relax and explore the game, what the game has to offer. There are no objectives, or scenarios required, but there may be some challenges throughout the ways that you choose to go. So we're gonna share to you some recent statistics of gaming. So first off, we got a recent statistic on the esports industry globally. Well, as you can see from the image, my 45 Studios is gonna put on your screens right now. It is brand spending on esports, as you can read. It is in millions of dollars, assumably US dollars. And so, as you can see, 2018 has gone up to already 622 million, which is quite a bit. And it also has predictions that go to 2019, which will go up to 800 million. Next up, we got e gaming and esports audiences, so people who enjoy e gaming. All right, as you can see, this is also in millions of US dollars, but instead, there is no 2018 this time. It only goes up to 2017, but then it has predictions to 2020. As you can see, in 2020, 1,000. 488 million US dollars. That's pretty much global. The total audience members is 589 million. Approximately 300 million people worldwide tune into esports today, and that number is growing rapidly. So hopefully by 2020, that number will be closer to 5 million. To put in perspective on how big esports is becoming, a Google search for LOL does not produce the laugh out loud thing that you are right during texting people. LOL! Instead, it generates and shows the League of Legends, which is the most popular and competitive game in existence. One of the most popular and competitive games is not the most popular competitive game. How is e-gaming changing? Well, e-gaming and esports are and have become the new reality. People who grew up kicking a ball now I have children playing League of Legends and Call of Duty. Advertising for esports and e-gaming has become especially tricky because of its audience demographics, which is young, passionate, male-dominated, and digital first. They live online and on social media and are avid ad blockers and don't watch traditional TV or respond to conventional advertising. Well, that leads to the fourth question. What do critics of e-gaming say? Well, there might be a bit of 
positive impact and negative impact, but we're gonna talk about both. For positive impact, we know that gaming has various benefits to the physical, mental, and psychological development of people. It presents a virtual reality of the world and its activities and offers great lessons that are applicable to the real world. Games can offer motivation, interest, and entertainment, and also triggered parents. Also, games can offer teamwork, team building, collaborative, hand and eye coordination, motor and spatial skills. Moreover, gaming assists learners in developing quick thinking for decisions. Some games might require the player to confront some problems in their virtual world, which are similar to the problems of the real world, such as triggered parents. Well, we're gonna talk about negative impact now, which is what the critics say and based on, uh, based their imp opinions on. Most critics of e-gaming and esports based their assumptions on the hardcore playing of electronic games and the exaggerated effects of it. These include the exposure of children to violent activities and thus making them more aggressive and with less empathy. Negative health hazards have also been recognized. The fixed playing of video games makes some children obese, while others have muscular posture and skeletal disorders due to the long fixed posture and the playing of the electronic games. So, let's go to the last question. What do we think on the e-gaming community? Rob, let's we'll start with you. Well, I think e-gaming is a nice way to learn skills that apply to our daily lives, and also a great way to relax. But there must be some precautions with the time spent on e-gaming and also the violence level with them. E-gaming is a fun way to enjoy screen time and it also helps you develop your reflexive skill level. But to make sure, you might have triggered parents. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my Fortnite Studios. And also, you know what? Batteries not included. Okay, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my Fortnite Studios. And say, what's up? To the next person you see in this day. Uh, I think the, the, the mic's dying. Oh gosh, the battery's dying. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, doesn't it? What are you doing?